Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Kelly, and today for Deborah, it's shocking video. Just as Memorial Day travel kicks into high gear, a disturbed man opens a plane door during the flight while panicked passengers grip their armrests. And it went on for five long minutes. So how could this possibly happen? Airplane doors are supposed to be kept airtight and locked. Let's try to spoke with an aviation expert to find out. Absolute terror. A passenger just opened the airplane door mid-flight. A feat said to be impossible. 194 passengers are on board, and they're getting battered by the intense wind. Imagine how they must be freaking out. The plane was 600 feet off the ground, minutes from landing in South Korea when it happened. Witnesses say the passenger was sitting next to the emergency door. He apparently showed no signs that anything was wrong when he suddenly removed a plastic cover, pulled a lever, and the door slid open. How is that even possible? Today, everyone is wondering how the heck this happened. How the heck do you open a door not supposed to open midair? It's supposed to be impossible. How did it happen? I think the most important thing to identify in this story is the phase of flight that this occurred in. This was at the landing of the aircraft when they are going in for their final approach. It actually is possible to open an emergency exit door. The man could not have opened the door at 20 or 30,000 feet. It is physically impossible to open that door when the cabin is pressurized and it's at its normal cruising altitude. Nine people had to be treated at the hospital for breathing difficulties. Talk about scary. So scary. Of course, that's the last video you want to see before flying this holiday weekend. But according to AAA, with gas prices down, many more Americans will be hitting the road than flying this Memorial Day. And believe it or not, Taylor Swift fans partying outside her concert are causing some extra gridlock. As Amber Cogliano reports, that's leading to a Taylor Gate crackdown. As if holiday traffic isn't bad enough, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Thanks to, of all people, Taylor Swift. The pop mega star performing for three nights at MetLife Stadium outside New York. That's 80,000 fans per sold-out show. It's like three Super Bowls held back-to-back. -back. And thousands of Swifties without tickets are planning to show up anyway and party in the parking lot. A phenomenon known as Taylor-gated. It's happening at stadiums across the nation. Hundreds of Swifties singing along to Taylor's hit songs. It's being compared to Beatlemania when the Beatles played at New York's Shea Stadium in 1965. But at MetLife, they're cracking down, warning fans they won't be allowed into the parking lot without a ticket. The state police tweeting, sorry Swifties, no ticket, no Taylor gating. But Swifties without tickets are finding ways to get around the van. Some are planning to park at the mall across the street. Right across from MetLife Stadium, there is a huge mall, the American Dream Mall. And Swifties are going to park here and walk across to MetLife Stadium to Taylor Gate. Other Swifties are going to stay right here, as you can see, and party on the rooftop parking deck. enjoying the show. This is how you're watching the show, right here, in your car. Yeah, like a drive-in movie. Like a drive-in movie, wow! Okay, so you have your pillow, what's in here? I'm being very Blanket. lazy. Blanket, <laughs> very comfortable. <laughs> and then you look right over here, and Taylor's in that stadium. Across the nation, cheaper gas prices mean more people than ever are driving to their holiday destination. I'm Jim Murray in Los Angeles. 37 million are expected to hit the roads this weekend, two million more than last year, with today being the busiest day. And our experts say, if you haven't left already, you might be better off waiting until tomorrow. But before you hit the road, it's a smart idea to get your car checked out. AAA say they expect to come to the rescue of 460,000 drivers this weekend. The primary reasons why people will call us will be for dead batteries, flat tires, and getting a locked out. So, you know, doing a little inspection on your vehicle, checking the tire tread and inflation, making sure your fluid levels are topped off, making sure your battery has a good charge, will hopefully prevent that roadside breakdown and get you to your destination on time, but most importantly, safely. Triple A says the earlier you hit the road on Monday to come
come home, the better.